Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone Boxing X series. Today I am with two fighters on this card, August 27th from the O2 Arena that have a hated rivalry. Today it is Deji and Fuzi. Gentlemen, welcome in. How are we doing today, Thank Fuzi? Thank you for having me. Let's start with you, Fuzi. This, like I said, is a rivalry that goes back years now. And it's been a couple of years since we've seen you in this ring. Talk to me about what it means to be on this card and to be fighting Deji specifically. This means everything to me. Um, you know, after my last performance, which I don't even talk about much anymore, I just, it didn't sit right with me that that was my only performance out because I know what I'm capable of. I know what I bring to the table and I know what I showed on that night wasn't it. I know I showed my heart that night, um, but I know that my capabilities weren't shown. So I'm super excited. I'm super grateful for the opportunity. Um, I'm grateful for, you know, Misfits Boxing, KSI for giving me this opportunity. And yeah, um, in terms of who's in front of me, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't really care about who's in front of me. Um, I'm in the ring against myself. So this is me versus me this time. Deji, talk to me about the same question here. You're back in the ring. Pretty quick turnaround for you, but you're fighting a bitter rival here in Fuzi. Talk to me about what this means, not only to be back on your brother's card, but to be fighting Fuzi. I mean, I'm just excited to be fighting, I'll be real. Like, um, like Fuzi said, you know, it doesn't matter who's in front of me. It's, I'm really fighting myself. Um, and in terms of rivalry, I wouldn't really say he's a rival. I wouldn't say I have any rivals in boxing, well, in YouTube boxing. I just like the sport, so I don't like this, but I love the sport, so that's why I'm here again. The reason I call this a rivalry, Deji, and, and I'll get to Fuzi on this as well, we all know at this point, it's been documented, you've said this, that Fuzi's an easy fight, that this, this was a guy that if you wanted an easy fight, he'd be the one to take. Do you stand by that statement now today? That was about, I think, a year and a half ago now. Do you stand by that statement today? No, I don't. Like, um, I underestimated Fuzi. Like, I respect him a lot. Like, he's uh, putting in this, this grind. Like, it takes a, a big man to step back in the ring. Like, I can say that for myself because it's one of the toughest things. Many people, you know, they talk and all of that, but getting back in the ring is very, very tough. So, I've got respect. Nothing but respect. You said it doesn't matter who's in front of you, but it is Deji in front of you. Obviously, there is some personal backstory there. When you go in this time with that, that statement that Deji did make, that you're an easy fight, has that added motivation for you? We've seen your body transformation over this, this camp and even before that. What's the motivation, obviously, being Deji stepping back in? You know, 100%. Um, I, I didn't take that statement lightly. I didn't take it back then, and I don't take it now lightly. If it's an easy fight, show me that it's an easy fight and make it an easy fight. If anything, I think that um, I should be thanked for not making it an easy fight because, you know, the thing about picking Fusi after the last L, you know, especially after my last performance, everybody, they, if Deji got a win against the last version of Fusi, it wouldn't have been anything to applaud over. Oh, yeah, you beat the human punching bag. So the fact that I've changed my life around, I brought myself into this shape, I'm stepping back in the ring, which, as Deji said, you know, anybody from the outside can talk unless you're in the ring. Unless you're actually in the ring taking these punches, throwing these punches, you don't really have room to talk. So the fact that I showed up in the version that I'm showing up in now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting it be an easy fight. And I think that that, that should be, it, it, like, that's, that's, that's good for him because if he does do what he says he's going to do, it makes much more of a statement taking out this version of me rather than the version of me that was an easy fight. Deji, he said you're going to take on a completely different Fousey this time. How do you expect this fight to go? What do you expect from Fousey when he steps in there on August 27th? Uh, I have no expectations. I'm just here to fight. I'll be real. I'm just here to have fun. Like, uh, I love this sport so much and I just want to... I'm excited, really. Like, uh, right. it's not going to be an easy fight. It's going to be a good fight. So yeah, I'm excited. You said you're here to have fun. I got to be honest with you. When I look across at the man you're about to fight, it doesn't look like he's here to have fun. It looks like he's here to make a statement. Deji, when you see the look in those eyes from Fuzi that he's here to make a statement, 
Does that change any idea about fun or any idea about this just going in there to have a good time? This is, like you said, a hard fight, but this is a man with a vengeance coming for you. I'm going to take this fight seriously, 100%. I never underestimated Fuzi. Like, in the past, yeah, I did underestimate some of my opponents, but I'm not underestimating Fuzi. I, I know he's going to bring his A game, so it's going to be good. Fuzi, same question to you. You know, you saw Deji's last performance, obviously a loss, but a loss to the man in the main event of this card, Alex Wasabi. What do you expect from him coming off that loss, a full camp with Daily Paralysis now on that side? What do you expect from Deji getting in there? I expect the best version we've ever seen of Deji. Um, you know, I said that going into the Alex fight, and I say I even double down on that now. Uh, a man with, you know... I have one loss and one that I, I didn't get a chance to even show myself. And I know what that feels and the weight that's on me. A man with three losses, he really has nothing to lose as much as everyone says his career is on the line, don't box again or anything. It's not about how, times, how many times you fall. It's about how many times you get back up. So um, I expect the best version of Desi, the most confident version of Deji. And outside of all these politically correct answers that he's giving, I know he still thinks I'm an easy fight. I know he picked me because he thinks I'm his sure, easy victory. He decided to fight me minutes after he lost to Wasabi when we were in that hotel lobby because he knew, you know what, I need a W, Fusi's my W, and I'm taking it. So he is going to be the best version of himself, but I know he thinks that, you know, he's going to come out on top and this is going to be his reclaim to fame in the YouTube boxing world. Daddy, your response to that, he still thinks... That you're looking at him and, and underestimating him still, even though these, as he said, politically correct answers are coming out, he still thinks there's a bit of that in you. What's your response? I mean, he's allowed to think what he wants. That's fine. I'm, like I said, I'm just here to fight. So, yeah. Understandable. I want to talk to you, Deji, really quickly about, you know, coming off that last performance, were there things, and I know that this, this obviously is true, but were there things that you think you can work on heading in against Fuzi, who we know from his last performance, does have a bit of power in his hands, is a guy that is going to come forward and he's going to bring a fight to you. What do you have to change from this camp to this fight to not only secure this victory, but do so going away? I'm not going to reveal too much. You just, you'll just find out in the night. Fuzi, same question to you. You've, su you've seen Deji's last performance. You know what you have, obviously working in camp. What, when you look at Deji, are the holes in his game? Where can you capitalize on things that Deji either doesn't do well or the things that you can bring he doesn't have? I think Deji is very skilled. I think he's very good at this sport, despite the losses he's taken. Um, I think he, his boxing IQ is high. I think his technical skills are high. I won't tell you what I think his flaws are. I'll tell you what his coach himself said his flaws are. Apparently, I mean, according to his coach, he didn't let his hands go. He just didn't, you know, he didn't, you know, believe in his punching power. Um, or his punching ability. So I think he's going to come out to let his hands go. And that's fine. That's fine. Everybody has a plan to let their hands go. But I don't think Deji's ever been touched in the way that I'm going to touch him. Um, you review all his fights, um, or more specifically, Vinny and Alex. I don't think he really has gotten hit with the power I plan to bring. And I think he will have a plan to let his hands go and let him fly and show what he can. But as soon as he walks into it and he feels what I bring to the table, I think that plan's going to go out the window. Deji, Fuzi says he's going he's gonna to put power on you you've never seen. How do you prepare for something like that? Especially, again, with a guy that hasn't been in this ring in three years, you really don't know what you're going to get. How do you prepare for that kind of talk? Power coming, unlimited cardio on his end from the, the body transformation. What are you doing to prepare for that? Sparring, that's, that's the best I can do, really. It just keep sparring. Understandable. Talk to me really quickly, Fuzi, about what you plan to do as far as combating what Deji does well in his defense, right? Sometimes he's shown the ability to be able to slip shots, not take a lot of punches, and to be fair, the last time we saw you, we did see a little bit of an issue on your end with that. How has this camp transformed you as a boxer technically? Because we know you have power. We know that you can come forward and throw hands. How, is it, how has it changed you technically as a boxer being with Jackrabbit Boxing? I mean, I see this as my first fight. 
you know, not only the first being it being a pro bout, but I see this as my first fight because the other one, I was still a YouTuber. So the only thing that I had was an ego back then. So all the shit talking, all the belief in myself, all came from my ego believing that, oh, I have these followers, I have these subscribers, I could be anybody in the world, and I got humbled, and I got humbled in great fashion. So this time, from the ground up, everything is fundamentally different. There's not one thing that's the same from the last fight. And, you know, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Deji, really quickly, we'll get you guys out of here. Do you think Fousey's going to try to come in and bully you around that ring? You think that the strategy is to push you around, to impose his will aggressively, and like I said, capitalize on maybe you being a little too defensive? I mean, he can do what he wants, really. Like I said, I'm just here to fight and hey, play. show what I can do. I want to ask both of you guys one more question. Uh, what are we expecting from this environment, right? We're in the O2 arena, thousands of fans. Deji, you fought in front of thousands before. What are we expecting from this environment? Do you think the pressure building in this fight specifically is going to crack a guy like Deji? Is it going to uplift you? What are you expecting from that fandom? All those other fights, I was, I'll be honest, I wasn't fighting for myself. I'm fighting for myself now, so uh, I've, I've handled the crowd before, and I don't, I don't mind. Fuzi, same question to you. Do you feel there's added pressure on Deji, being that this is almost a make-or-break fight for both of you guys, and he's in his hometown, and there's thousands of people probably going to be on his side here, what are you expecting from this UK crowd? And is the pressure going to burst pipes for one of you? I think this is going to be the fight of the night. This is two people who knows what this outcome means to them. But in terms of pressure on Deji's end, no, I don't think there's pressure there. You know, it was stated that if he were to lose his last fight, he would never be boxing again. Yet here we are doing it all over again. His fans, um, as supportive as they are, they don't give up on him. Um, just like he doesn't give up on himself. So I think he's still the fan favorite. He's still the crowd favorite. And last time when I was there to support my brother, Alex Wasabi, I think I got more banter and shit talk talk to me just being there supporting Alex than, um, than Alex got. I think, you know, um, even uh, Deji during the press conference, um, I'm just standing there to support my brother with my camera out like a happy dad. Deji took time to point me out in the crowd and talk to me. So I think, if anything, I'm the villain here, as I've always been, especially in London this time. So no, I don't think Deji has the pressure. Boozy, do you think you're in Deji's head? I think so. I think no matter how much Daly talks to him, no matter how much his coaches talk to him, no matter how much his brother talks to him, I know late at night when he's on social media, he goes to my Instagram, he sees my fitness transformation, he reads the comments, I know he's thinking about me. I know he's not talking. I know he's not, you know, showing anything because he doesn't want to make any statements this time because he wants to just show it. And he's embarrassed of his last performances. But I know that I'm living in his head. Deji, your response. He's all right. <laughs> he's fine to think about what he wants. That's fine. Fair play. Let's get predictions from both you guys. Deji, how do you get this fight done? Are we looking all, we're going to decision here. We're going to display a boxing technique we've never seen. Are you going to come in and take Boozy's head off. What are we looking at? How do you get this fight done? I'm going to just get in that ring and I'm going to have fun. Simple as that. Boozy, how do you get your hand raised on fight night? Go in the ring, believe in myself, one step at a time, one punch at a time, have fun as he's saying, and may the best man win. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your big rivalry on this card Fuzi and deji again the zone misfits boxing x series from the o2 arena august 27th get those tickets they are on sale now buy that pay-per-view gentlemen thank you very much for joining me thank you for having me thank you wade